Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm going to show you how you can enable Genius on your Apple TV. Now, when I say enable Genius on your Apple TV, I don't actually mean enable Genius on your Apple TV. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to come over here to my computers. The way that Genius works is it interacts with iTunes on the computer. So I'm going to come here to computers. You'll see I have my music, and I have Genius Mixes right here. But if I click on that, you'll see that I don't have anything. It's because I have not set up Genius on my home computer first. So if you're not familiar with Genius, Genius looks at your, uh, your iTunes library and sees kind of what music you like, what music that you've played more often. It also analyzes the songs, like beats per minute, artists, genre, and tries to build playlists based on your likings and can even make recommendations for you in the iTunes store. So I'm going to come over here to the computer and right here on the left, you'll see Genius. Now, real quickly, the new version of iTunes kind of did away with the sidebar, but I really like it. So if you don't see it the way that this is set up, or if you uh, want to change it, come up here to View and choose the option that says Show Sidebar. Mine says Hide Sidebar right now because I'm already seeing it. But here we go, Genius. So Genius makes playlists, it makes songs, it does everything that I just told you. Now, why isn't this on by default? Well, basically what it does is it sends some anonymous information to Apple so that it can kind of analyze your library. So it does all the analysis on Apple servers and then sends it back to you. So that's why it's not on by default. You have to agree to send this anonymous information. Don't worry, like I said, anonymous, you're never going to be tracked down for this. NSA has no idea. Let's come here and turn on the genius. So it has you sign in with your Apple ID so that it at least ties this information to who's sending it. But like I said, Apple doesn't get any information about like, oh, this person likes this music. It all just happens in the back end. So you would go ahead and sign in, and then it would begin sending you Genius recommendations. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here real quickly. I do have to agree to Apple's terms and conditions. Again, it's sending information about your library up to them. And there we go. You can see it's gathering information. It will send it to Apple, and then it will deliver the genius results. As you use your music, as you play more content, as you play more things, it will get smarter, and it will give you better results. That's how you're going to begin to use Genius on your Apple TV.